test, test, <coughs> test. Hi. So in this tutorial, comparing Blender with 3D Studio Max, um, something called the Freeform Deformation Tool in Max, and the equivalent is the Mesh Deform in Blender. So quickly, I go to Max, choose the object, like the sphere, make sure it's an editable poly, <coughs> go to the modifier, um, and go down to FFD box. You can do other FFDs, but I'm going to concentrate, concentrate on doing the box first. Um, you can experiment with the other ones. So there's the <coughs> the FFD, now the freeform deformation around the sphere. Um, we can set the number of points with the FFD box, which is very useful. So we can go 3, 3, 3, make it a bit more simpler. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so now it's gone down. And basically what the FFD does, or the mesh modifier in Blender, basically it allows you to edit the model below by deforming the cage that we see here. Yeah. And it's very good because we take the modifier off. I'll just push that a bit more. So let's deform it a lot like, like so. All it is just on the modifier, yeah? So if we delete the modifier, it's gone. Okay, so that's the, the concept of it, and it's a very useful tool. In Blender, it's a bit slightly more complex, okay? Um, so here we have a similar sphere, as in Max, <coughs> and around it I've made a, a cube, and as you can see, it's not not got anything to do with the sphere, it's just a mesh. The reason why it's see-through, like in the modifier in Max, is because I've changed the display settings here. Okay, so it's on wire. And at the moment it does nothing. This is a mesh, this is a mesh. So I want, what I would do is I go to modifier in Blender, add modifier, mesh deform, and then I choose the object that I want it to form to. So I go to cube, <coughs> and dynamic, we should press this, because this um, allows us to not mess the mesh up when we add other modifiers, and press bind. Wait a bit, sort of takes a bit of processing time. <coughs> do, 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 do. So it's a bit slower. Come on. Okay, so it's done that. So now, so now this has got the modifier here, and we go to the the cube here, go into edit mode, and as you can see now, as if by magic, we can edit the the different vertices or faces, depending on what you want to do, <clears throat> which is great. But what you have to remember, this isn't like in Max. This is just purely the modifier. This is another object, so we have to go back here um, to, you know, display it, turn it on and off, and also apply it and unbind. Okay. Um, just one more thing: with these modifiers, are cool because you can do some good things with the animations with them as well. So, go to Max, um, go to this setting here, and if I pull it through. The object it will kind of animate and distort the object as we pull through, in the same way as Blender. Um, <clears throat> so just pull this through, and there you can see it's moving again. As I say, a very good tool. Um, and here are the comparisons. So if you're going to Max, basically mesh deform to Max, Max to Blender is FFD to mesh deform. In Blender, you can also use something called the lattice modifier, but um, I prefer to use Mesh Deform. It's got more flexibility and options to do with when you, you add more modifiers on top of that. Okay, that's it. So any questions or comments, etc., etc., please ask me on YouTube, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, thanks very much, and speak soon. Bye. Test. Test. <coughs> 